Axiom Mission 4 and the International Space Station continuing to work through hatch opening procedures, but getting close, you can start to see a little bit of a window of opportunity that was just on the other side of Ashon and McLean and Nicole Ayers there as they are working on IMV ducting, mixing the air of the station and Dragon, and lithium hydroxide at cartridges, stowage and swapping out. So Anne McLean and Nicole Ayers are starting to clear out the hatchway, and we are going to see the first views of Axiom Mission 4. Commander Peggy Whitson, the first one across the A-Pass hatch, receiving great big hugs from Nicole Ayers and the Expedition 73 crew. Axiom at Mission 4, welcome aboard the International Space Station. Pilot Shibanshu Shukla is the next one to come across, representing ISRO. It is his first space flight for Peggy Whitson, her return to the International Space Station on her fifth flight, second as a member of Axiom Space. Sławo Szuznanski Wisniewski of ESA, representing the nation of Poland. And their first visit to the International Space Station is next to cross the hatchway. And warm hugs all around. And applause breaking out here inside of Mission Control Houston and International Space Station Flight Control Room. And Tibor Kapu, the fourth and final member of Axiom Mission 4, representing Hunor and the nation of Hungary. Their first visit to the International Space Station as well. Great big hugs and handshakes across all members of Expedition 73. And Axiom at Mission 4 is Anne McLean and Nicole Ayers of NASA, along with Johnny Kim, Kirill Peskov, Sergei Rizhikov, and Alexei Jabritsky of Roscosmos, and Takuya Onishi, commander of Expedition 73 and of JAXA. With handshakes and hugs for Peggy Whitson, Shubanshu Shukla, Swavo Shuznanski, Vishnevsky, and Tibor Kapu. And with their arrival to the International Space Station, that now makes 288 visitors to the orbiting laboratory. Axiom Mission 4 is now aboard the International Space Station. Commander Peggy Whitson in her return to the orbiting laboratory, her fifth flight. Three is a member of NASA and her second as commander of Axiom and Axiom Space Private Astronaut Mission, commander of Axiom 2 and here of Axiom 4. Regaling the crew with smiles and stories. To her left, or our left from her viewpoint to her right, Swavo Shuznanski Vishnievsky of ESA, Shubanshu Shukla to her left of ISRO, and Timur Kapu on that far right hand side of our viewpoint.
The crew is safely aboard the International Space Station. Welcome again to Axiom Mission 4. And we are continuing to target a formal welcome remark from the crew and being joined by the Expedition 73 team as well. That'll be at approximately 8.35 a.m. Central Time. And from there, they will receive a safety briefing and begin their nearly approximately two-week mission aboard the International Space Station in which they will participate in around 60 research investigations representing 31 countries with more than two dozen of those experiments sponsored by the ISS National Lab. And there they all are, waving back at our coverage here inside of the International Space Station Flight Control Room. Station Houston on two, thanks for the wave. Great to see everybody. Houston Station, we're happy to be here. It's so great to have, be here finally. It was a long quarantine. Of the arrival of Axiom at Mission 4 to the International Space Station, the fourth private astronaut mission to arrive to the orbital outpost in the first since January of 2024. We just saw the crew of four, including Commander Peggy Whitson, Shubansu Shukla, pilot of ISRO, Suavo Shuznainsky Vishnevsky, and Tibor Kapu of ISA and Hunort, respectively, across the hatchway and into the orbital outpost for the very first time. We're continuing to follow along as we'll wait for the uh, formal welcoming remarks that are currently scheduled for roughly 8.35 a.m. Central Time, so a little bit more than an hour to go as the crew continues to settle in. Um, after you heard the remarks from Peggy Whitson mentioning the uh, long quarantine, the ride up, which took a little bit more than a day's time.